Iran says only a ceasefire deal in Gaza can hold Tehran back from re retaliating against Israel for the killing last month of Hamas's political leader in the Iranian capital. Speaking to Reuters, senior Iranian officials say the country will launch a direct attack if talks fail to secure a truce. Iran has dismissed remarks by Western nations urging Tehran to exercise restraint. Iran's foreign ministry says calls from Germany, Britain and France lack, quote, political logic and contradict principles of international law. It's also blaming expansion of the crisis in Gaza on what it called inaction of the UN Security Council and the extensive political and military support of Western governments to Israel. Israeli troops have continued to step up strikes on Gaza as the death toll there inches closer to 40,000 since war broke out in October last year. Washington remains positive on ceasefire negotiations going ahead as planned this Thursday. But a Hamas official has denied reports that the group will be in attendance at those talks. On Monday, Germany, Britain and France issued a statement calling on Iran and its allies to refrain from retaliating against Israel. This follows the killing of Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh. Tehran, along with, its, along with its allies, Hamas and Lebanon's Hezbollah, have accused Israel of carrying out the assassination. But Israel has not claimed responsibility for that particular killing. Tensions in the Middle East have been on the rise since Haniyeh's death. The US and Israel have warned that a significant set of attacks by Iran and its proxies was possible as early as this week. Cross-border fighting along the Israeli-Lebanese border has also surged, forcing flights to divert routes or cancel stops in the two countries. The UK reportedly already working on plans to evacuate its citizens from Lebanon if tens tensions should spike even further. And Sarah Coates joins us live from Tel Aviv with more. Sarah, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken reportedly set to make another trip to the Middle East. What more do we know at this point about this visit? Hello, Wei Su. Mr. Blinken will be pushing for diplomatic de-escalation and is potentially set to visit Egypt, Doha, here in Israel and potentially Iran. But this really all hinges on whether it has or will attack Israel. So certainly you mentioned that there are a lot of tension in the region amid these reports uh, from senior Iranian officials actually telling Reuters that only a ceasefire in Gaza can delay Iran's attack on Israel, really highlighting the urgency of this situation. Now, we do need to remember that the United States has really tried to speed up the deployment of this military hardware to the region. And what a lot of analysts are saying, Wei Su, is what they believe could happen potentially if Iran does in fact attack Israel is that this of course could draw in the so-called axis of resistance these are these Iranian proxies like the Houthis Hezbollah Hamas and of course these militants in Iran and in Syria so analysts say that what could be seen if indeed it does happen is a multi-front a multi-pronged attack which could really wear down Israel's multi-layered air defense system and would have many many casualties not just here in Israel but also in Lebanon and this is why we've been seeing these hospitals in Israel's north for months now really preparing for a mass casualty scenario. They've been building underground bunkers, transferring patients to these underground reinforced areas. And they've also been drilling their staff there. Also on the ground today, we can tell you that Israeli troops are training for preparation for potentially war with Lebanon up in the north. So certainly large scale drills happening there really as the region braces for this possible attack. Oh, Sarah, perhaps not helping international support for Israel, the national security minister known for his far right views has led hundreds of Israelis into the flashpoint Al Aqsa mosque compound, uh, threatening to escalate already heightened tensions. Extremely provocative move way soon. This has not just been condemned internationally and in the Arab world, but here in Israel as well. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, he has slammed Itamar Ben-Gavir, the National Security Minister, for this incident this morning, saying that it is a deviation from the status quo. Now, he's also being slammed by the opposition 
and also the ultra-Orthodox parties with lawmakers saying that he is a pyromaniac and he's causing immense damage to the Jewish nation. So once again, extremely provocative move by Itamar ben Gavir, Jordan and Egypt also condemning his actions this morning, saying that his visit stirs up emotions and thwarts efforts to reach a ceasefire deal. Now, what we do need to remember is really a lot is hinging on these talks on Thursday. Still unclear whether Hamas will actually send a delegation, but the Egyptians have been actually pushing Hamas to try and get this finally over the line, Waisu. Oh, thanks. That's Sarah Coates reporting live from Tel Aviv.